Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to select elements or select rows that have you know one or more specific values. Uh, we've seen this data frame before where we um, have city names, ranks, scores and so on and so forth. This is what it looks like and the example here is what if we wanted to retrieve the rows for example where the city is Rome or maybe where the city is Rome or Sydney or maybe where the city is Rome and the rank is first or where the city is maybe Sydney and the score is above or under a certain value you know these kind of combinations of conditions um, with uh, you know regards to the values that we have in our data frames well that's not too difficult to do and there's more than way of doing it uh, one simple way is to do it by uh, you know F f having a look at the values of the columns and doing the filtering there. So um, what I'm saying here is I'm saying uh, data frame of using the square brackets and then I'm saying give me the values of the data frame, all the values, all the records of this data frame where the city equals Rome. So data frame where data frame of city equals Rome. I do that um, condition inside the square brackets and what I get here is I get the result as all the rows where the city is Rome and I can make it more complicated I can say for example where the city is Rome for example and like for example this the you know the rank is first if I run that I get an error the solution is simple I just need to tell Python that these two are separate conditions by putting it into, into parentheses and then I run it and it works so it, it gives me back the um, it gives me back the rows where the city is Rome and the um, you know the rank is first of course I can use or as well it may, it maybe give me back the you know city is Rome or I'm sorry the, the rank is first run it and I get back the results so either Rome or first, sometimes it can be combined because it's an or condition, not an and. Um, uh, another thing is, what if I, for example, want, you know, have multiple values to check in the same column? I can say, you know, city is Rome or city is Tripoli. That works. But what if we have, you know, several values and, you know, that doesn't look neat and nice, especially for maintenance purposes that can make things, you know, a little bit more untidy and difficult to maintain. Well, uh, we have another way of filtering and that's by using the is in uh, uh, method. And I, I can say, for example, if city is in Rome, I'm sorry, we should say, where are we, dot is in. And then I can pass the values here as a list. So the you know city value is in this list. It can be Rome or Tripoli. And I can get the results where the city is Rome or Tripoli, right? I hope the idea makes sense here. When we have multiple values to check for the same column, then we can use the is in. It's you know uh, uh, a lot better. Um, another way of doing the filtering is by using uh, anonymous functions or the, these lambda functions and we can use the map function in pandas data frames to pass a lambda function lambda functions are you know they, they can have any number of variables but usually they have one expression and because we're using the map on the, the column city here then that function will be applied on that column and what I'm saying here is I'm saying data frame of data frame or you know column city map so apply this function you know where Rome is in XYZ XYZ will refer to the values inside this column I can call that anything I can call it city I can call it values but I need to have it the same here so where you know apply it to values where Rome is in value so give me back the records where Rome is one of the values, I can run that, I'm sorry, where Rome is the value and it'll filter the data frame and bring me back the rows where the city is Rome. I hope the idea makes sense that we can do this, you know, using more than one way and we can combine conditions as we saw before. Um, quite nice, easy and powerful. Let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video.